be building homemade bikes. Here's how it works. We're gonna drop the ball down the plinko board to get our budget that we each get to build our bikes from scratch. And then once we build them, we have to test them by going down a bike course. Whoever's bike survives the longest wins. So here's the thing. We're only dropping one time and that determines the budget for all of us. Andrew, drop it. I want to ride my bicycle. Yes! $1,000 each, fellas! What? Holy moly. I was worried. First of all, I don't even know how to build a bike, but $1,000, <laughs> I know how to build a bike now. It's time to go to the store. We're here at our first stop, Big R, to get some supplies. Some simple rules. One, you have to have no more than two tires. Two, your bike has to have a seat of some sort. And three, you have to get some biking gear. We each have $1,000, so you could probably get any size wheels you really want. I'm trying to figure out what strategy I want to go with. I could go with this giant 16 inch wheel, or you could go with like more smaller base. They even have smaller wheels than these, but it's like, ah, I don't know. How small is your bike gonna be? <laughs> I was gonna try and build like a, a life-size bike. Like a motorcycle type bike? I think he's building one no. for like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I don't know. If you build one with smaller tires, it could have a benefit that the bigger tires doesn't have. Name, name two of those benefits. I don't want to give away my secrets. <laughs> you want some tires with maybe some of this off-road tread oh, yeah. style? Just found a way better idea, guys. Look at this. So I really don't know how to build many things, but I know <laughs> if I get a little platform, screw it onto the platform, and this one actually turns like a normal bike. So I get this one that turns, and I can get this one that just is a standstill, can't turn. Normal bike thermodynamics. I already have a color theme for my bike in mind. Okay. So get some nice bright colors here. I think my strategy is going to build a bike frame out of metal. I'm gonna hopefully be able to bend it, weld it, and do everything I can at the office, right? Hi. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it is you guys. It is us. <laughs> Stay tuned, because I got the dub in the back, guys. Already got a great idea. Finding the best materials in the store. It's only going up from here. Ain't that right? Yeah. I was just thinking you might be able to build a bike frame out of a garbage can. For example. Oh. oh. Handlebars, wheels. Too dumb, though. <laughs> I may or may not have found my helmet. Ready to race, guys? Let's see how, what about the back of the head? Ouch! Andrew's got a good one too. <laughs> I can only see behind me. Back of the head test. Oh! Just ran into some more fans here at Big R, and look, they got the merch, they got the beanies. Too cool. Guys, thanks for watching. Look at this. Is this enough supplies to build three bikes? No! No! no. Let's go buy more! We're here at Home Depot. <laughs> I'm broken. Seen that movie? Yeah. In my head, this is gonna work out really well, which has never worked out really well. But I'm gonna try and make a whole bike frame out of two by fours. In my head, it's gonna be clean. Like in my head, I'm picturing a beautiful bike, like kind of like a, like a yeah. homemade wood, like kids rustic oh, bike. I can see it. That I can like, see it too. Like splinter stabbing through the legs. Like a Montessori bike? A what? A Montessori bike? You can get it. You're not a parent. Okay, sorry. Guys, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time trying to figure out how to build this bike. A lot of the times, I have a general idea of what I'm gonna do, but for this one, I don't even know where to begin. I have the wheels, but as far as the structure goes, <laughs> I am lost. You gotta get a little bit of wood. I just need like a square though. It's gotta be for my seat. So I, I mean, that should be strong enough, right? Your seat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. I forgot about seats. That's what. That's my next plan. I need to think of. Guess how popular I am. Very. Uh, that'll work. Guys, I just found the perfect seat. I'm not gonna show you what it is yet, but I promise me you will love it. Let's find some gems. Table leg handlebars. <laughs> As part of the challenge, we have to get our outfits to be professional bikers. So we're picking out a lot of cool stuff. Let me show you what's in the car so far. I just found something for you. Oh. What is it? Chamois butter. What is it for? Anti chafe. I might get some of this for like everyday use. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? I found my tires. They are actual bike tires. Unfortunately, 
They only had two left, and so I got one really big one and one small one. I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit to figure out which one goes on the front, which one goes on the back. But this is gonna affect how I build my frame. It's gonna make it a little trickier, but I got it. I can't you literally just told us this is gonna be so easy. Yeah. Hey, you unscrew the bolt. Why does my shirt smell? Smell that. <laughs> the first step I'm gonna do for my bike is cut out a seat. Yeah, I think there's enough support on the butt that should be a <laughs> decent seat. Not bad. Nice and symmetrical. Well, nothing's ever symmetrical. That's why when people design bike seats, they're wrong. Okay, I'm using this as a reference here, just found it on Google. And so I'm gonna try and recreate something like this out of just two by fours. I'm kind of just gonna guess the measurements and hopefully everything works out good. All right, time to cut. Oh boy, my bicycle might give me a splinter. <laughs> I'm getting ready to install my front wheel and back wheel. So I just got to drill a hole, put the bolt in, and it's just that easy. Who would have thought building bikes would be this easy? Oh yeah, I'm so good at angles, dude. Uh, of course, I don't know where this one goes. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so good at angles, dude. Wait, what? Wait, where does this piece? Wait, what? No, no, wait. No, never mind. I know what I'm doing. This one, it goes here. I just got to move it. Oh. I'm about to begin the process of welding my frame together. This is my bike frame. I'm pretty excited about it. I did all the angles by eye. I as in you? Yeah, I did all the angles by vision. All the logistics though, I have not worked out whatsoever. So, don't know how to attach the tires, don't know how I'm gonna make it steer. We got the frame. Oh, well, that went right through it. Oh! I'm literally almost done with my second wheel, and then we'll have a base. In the constructioner's garage, there were some door hinges, and I found this bag of spare parts with these bolts, just the right size for this. How are you gonna make it uh, steer? I'm getting to that next. Oh. I have Blake helping me because unfortunately I'm not very skilled at welding or know anything about welding. So we're working on the frame together. Aha! Halfway there. <laughs> it's a new type of off-road skateboard. That's kind of sick. There's no gonna, way. I'm I'll, not trying that. I'll try. Yeah, you try. Your tires get a little... I can't tell if it's falling. I can't tell if it's falling. <laughs> That's a pretty good... Sw what is this? The brand new J Stu fingerboards. JStuShop.com available right now. Here you go. Thanks. One for you, man. That was the best tr ad transition I've ever seen. Dude, cutting metal is just so fun to watch. So this is uh, going to be part of my steering drive shaft. So I'm spending a lot of time brainstorming. <laughs> My angles got fudged when I started screwing things in somehow. A little bit of stretch, never hurt anybody. Oh my gosh. You're gonna love my bike. <laughs> no, I am actually really excited to see how you can weld the frame together. Here's my creative process, guys, with the steering. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here so the wheel is completely separate from this side. But to keep it attached, I have this heavy duty door hinge of sort. This side's only attached with one bolt. This side has three bolts, making this side stable. But with one bolt, it can turn. You see what kind of brain blast that is? Look at that, boys. You could weld this piece. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll figure that part out later. <laughs> Wait. Kind of That'll work. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and then this can attach to the wheel, and then my handlebars, I can turn the wheel. Genius. Genius. This is a strong frame right there. I could probably sit on this and it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Got a support beam right in the middle. Maybe two. <laughs> it's very early stages, but my brain is just firing off. Wait, where, where's your seat again? Oh, you'll see. Oh. I was not really concerned. I thought you were just gonna be one plank of wood. That is genius. Let's hope it works, and I'm gonna make it work no matter what. <laughs> I hope this works really just somewhat, because this would be the most unique bike I've ever seen. I'm gonna work my hardest to make sure that this happens for you guys. It's time for the welding to begin. Got the frame all cut. Do that all around the whole pipe. Yeah. Make sure we don't weld to the table. <laughs> the first part of the frame of the bike is done. Uh -huh. Just full hand or handlebars. Starting to look like a bike. I disassembled my tire and I'm attaching my back one. I decided the big one is gonna be back. It just makes sense. Oh gosh. <laughs> 
What? Do you know what the problem is? It's not this. It's I made the hole too big. I need to drill a hole that's almost pretty much the exact size as this. All right, this is the uh, front wheel we are assembling right now, basically welding it all into place. All right, thanks. This is how you make bikes. Holy crap! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> you! Progress update, I have my steering wheel kind of installed. I need to get some like sort of glue to make sure it doesn't move like this. This part right here it turns a little bit. Now I gotta put up my walls, install my seat, and you're the finish line, guys. Isaac and I have some initial uh, riding tests. No seats yet, no handlebars, just kind of getting a feel for the plane. <laughs> Looking good, guys. This is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> oh, it's a high up. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like a Trojan horse. <laughs> Regardless of what happens, I think Justin's gonna have the most comfortable seat. Dude, if you fall off that thing, no, no, no. See this? I'm gonna cut it right here, down a little bit, so that the seat just like sits in the bumper. like yellow wood. Toward a fire. These handlebars are gonna be hot. What we have here is the welded bike. Hopefully it works. Oh, oh man. Man. It fits my butt perfectly. Oh, this is nuts. So the final things I gotta do is I gotta spray paint this thing with this nice bronze chrome. Oh, this is gonna look good. This is already 10 times better than what it was. Got the whole bike painted. All I have to do is let it dry and then finish up the seat. And this thing is ready to ride. When you don't have glasses, just cut with your eyes closed. That's what Sammy told me to do. I add these blocks to the side and then build out a second part so almost like it's in the middle of two frames. Seems secure. Oof, look at that. A massive problem with my bike is I built it way too high. That's a big concern. All right guys, I am finally finished with my structure. Ultimate secret uh, seat reveal, I used a wooden toilet. I'm actually really scared. This is just riding a bike. This is extreme, trust me. Time to paint it. Bikes are done. We're gonna load them up and take them to the BMX racing track. Getting nervous. We just made it to the BMX park, Pikes Peak BMX. First things first, we gotta get on our uniforms that we bought, oh. take our bikes down to the ramp, and send it. Determine whose bike actually survives, that's test one, and then whose bike can drive the farthest, that's test two. Oh. So as you guys are watching, you need to determine whose bike and fit was the overall best. There's our track, fellas. All right, it's time to show you guys our full bike tours with our biking outfits. Welcome to my bike. This is called the Caution Cruiser. Went with the Caution yellow theme, made out of wood. I got my seat right here on the platform, uh, my handlebar, made out of PVC pipe. <laughs> Ready to ride, baby. Guys, my bike is called the Sonic Blaster. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I went with an all wood frame to maintain lightweight and aerodynamics. That's exactly what I accomplished. Also got this sweet toilet seat as my seat. I really have to poop in real life. And so, you know, you know? like when you have to poop and you get near a toilet, you, all of a sudden it like starts like coming. I'm hoping that doesn't happen as soon as I sit down. Also, you might not notice, but these are pit vipers. Way so, cooler than Justin Andrews pit vipers. Right, before we get going, gotta put on Chamoy's butter, original anti-chafe cream. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, that feels good. I am chafe free now. You just have the bottle. I got big thighs, Buster. <laughs> Welcome to the Chrome Cruiser. Fully operational. Lightweight. I can lift this with two fingers. Built out of pure metal, some tires, and then a wooden seat with some uh, cushion wrap. I'm just gonna answer the question you guys are all thinking right now is, how on earth did this cost you each a thousand dollars? Look, we did not spend anywhere near a thousand dollars on the builds and the outfits together. I mean, it's kind of hard to build a custom bike for a thousand bucks with garage materials. First on the track to send it is Isaac. We're gonna see how far he can get. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, my front tire keeps locking up and that's making me very anxious. I guess this is it. You going for it? I think so. So right when you get on, you're expecting to go? I hope so. <laughs> when you sit on it, your tire won't even go. I can't even, what? Come on, come on, pull it. If you pull the steering wheel. That's because your steering wheel column is jabbing into the tire. What? 
You're about to yeah, pop. Get a of this. this wheel pushes up against here or there. Yes. So you have to almost pull your steering wheel back. This is a new addition I added. Oh, that was a mistake then. Yes, I guess. And go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tyler handlebar. His handlebar's rolling down the hill. All right, All right. he's ready to ride. Stop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, my butt, help me! All that work and you didn't go one foot. <laughs> this was the most frustrating build ever, too. I put so much work trying to figure out how to make everything work. I think you were also the most confident. You're like, this is going to be so easy. I'm just going to build a frame and attach some wheels and I'm going to be BMXing the rest of my life. In my head, this is going to work out really well. Not really well. Tosh and Carl is up next. I'm hoping to make it to that first ramp, get, get up it, and then I'm going to have to pedal my way to the next one. Yeah. Okay, guys. Here I go. Okay. Woo! 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 <laughs> what happened? It's so top heavy. That's why. <laughs> We're gonna make it up. <sighs> oh, here we go. Yes, it's turning. This is the most exhausting bike ride and shortest bike ride I've ever done. <sighs> oh. I'm a little disappointed, but I wasn't expecting this to be a world-class bike. I mean, come on, guys. But I gave it my best, and I at least got somewhere, so I feel pretty good. <laughs> All right, Andrew. Ow. I have lots of faith in this one. Oh gosh, this is scary. Full sand. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! 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 No problems. Can you steer good too? Yeah. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Just can't. There's no pedal, so it's. Oh, I'm legit stuck. Let me see if I can make this. Send it! Whoa! 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 That's fun! Whoa! Yes! Oh. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense why yours did the best because they do make normal bikes out of metal. Yeah. You gotta leave a like because we spent literally an entire day building these bikes. Isaac broke, mine didn't work as well. We need your encouragement. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, it's right down below for more videos like these. We'll see you in the next one.